called out to you and nobody showed up. So I started with outfits. <laughs> anyway. Nobody was there to help as usual. Original mirrors, stainless steel. And these are the replacements from Flea Bay. There's a bit of a difference. Yeah, you got that right. But they're trailer mirrors. Wow. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? So, what we're going to do, we're going to go over and look at the pickup truck. Because I got one started. Come over. My lovely assistant. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one who showed up. Yeah, I'm the only one who showed up. So, folks, what I would recommend, when you go to, when you're working on these things here, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to take the two Phillips screws out of the armrest, okay? You need to take this little bezel off here, and you do that with a tool like this. It's a non-marring tool, and you try to get at the contact points just on the side of them. If you try to take it in the middle, you could crack it. Always try to take your moldings off close to the uh, the attachment point, right? Now, you do that, then the shell got to come off. Now, with the shell, which is this? Well, first of all, I'm kind of going ahead of myself. Before you take that off, you take the crank handle off. Remember we had crank handles? <laughs> yeah. And the tool to use for that is this. And you basically go down, and there's a little C-clip here. And what you do is you go down in between and you push that C-clip off. And this pulls off. Then, you start getting in there rooting around. Now you can use this type. But I like to use this type. So I can get in behind and pull, pull, pull. Now, this is what I call, referred to as a cat's whisker. Right here. Oh. On a lot of these trucks, you used to pull the staple out if you weren't real gentle with it. And what I used to do was get a real, real shallow 1-8 rivet, and drill it out, and pop new ones on. And it won't have any effect on you trying to reinstall this. It just so happened, this one here, I didn't tear the cast whisker off. Just a second, hang on now. Okay. You good? So, yeah. You're good. Now, this one was a little bit more complicated. As you can see, there's a heat gun on the ground. Because I had this vent visor here okay. that I had to deal with. So, of course, I'm going to have to deal with that again now shortly and put it back on with some more two-way tape. Not right there yet. Don't know how to do that yet. In here, there's going to be, when you take off the original mirror, there's going to be three studs. One you're going to have to get at with a 10 millimeter wrench going down inside and rooting it off and taking your time and the other two are pretty easily accessible. When you get to the flea bay mirror, there's going to be a stud. His name is going to be Paul. <laughs> I was going to ask him if he had a name. Yeah, he, that's, you know, yeah. They, we refer to these, these as Pauls. Okay, there's going to be a Paul. Yeah. Now, some people are going to try to Poke that on through there. There's already going to be a hole there. You take it out, and what I usually do is I usually take it like this, put it down like that, put the screw in like that, and then just go in with your 12 millimeter. Is it 12 millimeter? Yep, 12 millimeter wrench. A grunt and a half, folks, and then that's done. Now, we got to go over to the pick me up truck. Back again. If you guys are fortunate enough to have a Kathy, you might want to have her hold that mirror mm -hmm. while you're fishing it in the hole. Now come over here, Kathy. You can see in here the bolt that you got to get at. I usually use a swivel 10 millimeter and I put it in like so, and get it. The other one is straight in, so he's easy to get. 
Now this foolish little bracket comes with it, so that stud comes out, the pawl comes out, <laughs> and, you, and you put the bracket in here, and you tighten it. How many grunts was that? That's a grunt and a half, grunt and three quarters. Yeah, I thought that was more than a grunt and a half. And uh, basically, you reinstall. Yeah. So, that's what it's going to look like. Good to me. Come over this way. You'll get it this way. It changes the look of the truck, of the truck, but it certainly makes the truck a lot better for towing. And these here aren't. You can buy these power, but they come out like that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. And of course they. Oh, All right. right. So. So I'm going to go over now and I'm going to reverse the procedure. I got to put this back together and I'm going to go over a little bit, reverse the procedure, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. I'm not going out there. I'll tell you, this is dedication. Out in the rain, putting mirrors on your truck with a garage there. That's right. Too lazy to put everything out. <laughs> a lot of work. A lot of work, yeah. But these aren't hard to put on. No. No. Easy peasy. They're not bad. Oh, they had worse jobs. Oh, yeah. You're giving me worse jobs than this. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's always my fault. Yeah. I'm glad you admitted to that on camera. I don't know if that was an admission. That was, uh, what did he call that? Sarcasm. Yes, yeah, what that was. <laughs> Sarcasm. <laughs> the same thing. Is it? I don't know. You admitted to it. Did I? Yeah. So I guess you get that done, we'll wrap it up for the evening because we're going to get supper. No, we're going to put the steering wheel on oh, first. Oh, come on. The steering wheel got to go on. You've got to get with the program. Upper management is not, it's not a good example. There's people watching you, watching me, that are upper management are going to end up with the same attitude as you got and is going to go to hell in a handbag, the economy. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Too late has already gone to hell in the already. Bay. Well, that's not my fault. Because I can't keep the whole economy going. As much as, as much as Premier Ball in there thinks I can, I can't. So no. upper management is going to start coming up with some ideas. <laughs> Instead of eating. The only idea I can think of right now, yeah, when we're having supper. So. Poor out. I don't know. Poor attitude. You got that done yet? No, jeez. You can't see for the rain. There's rain well, everywhere. I hope we don't get any lightning. Yeah, you're holding the camera. It's attracted right to the lightning. I'm inside. Yeah, it'll hit you. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Anyway, I don't know what it looks like. I'm sure people will tell me. It looks good. At least it came in too in good shape, other than that little old bolt. But I mean, the well, glass one, wasn't broke. One of broke. the poles were bent. One of the poles were bent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the studs. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Jr. He was the short one. Was he? Yeah. No pun intended. No. No pun intended. So yeah. Yeah, I like him. Huh? I like him. Well, you know it. It's not bad when you tow with the welding trailer, but boy, when you got that dump trailer, you can't see, right? No. So, you know, I mean, you know, I, I know I'm not 100% safe on everything I do, but when it comes to driving, I am. Oh, yeah. Unless a moose jumps out in front of me. Well, then, that's out of your control. Yeah. Yep. And anybody watches the other videos, they'll see that happens. Oh, yeah. It's a little warmer than it was earlier, though. Did you say something that's got your ears flapping? <laughs> well, you just come on, keep going here. here don't can, can you take that hair dryer there, your mother, your mother's hair dryer, and just turn it on there? Don't want, don't mind the wit. <laughs> I'm not going at that. Why? Because you're setting me up. No, no, setting me up. Just don't drop the camera when you get to shock. Yeah, see, that's it. That's the part I was thinking about. So that's these clips, see? 
Mm -hmm. You're paying attention because you're gonna, all going to be tested on this next week. Mm -hmm. And he, they always go towards the handle. So that way when you put the tool, tool in there, mm -hmm. it'll push that clip off and you can pull that out. Okay. Just imagine. Are you imagining? Yep. Because you didn't look like you were imagining. Sure, how do you know you didn't even look? I looked. <laughs> well, you must have eyes in the back of your head. The expression did not change on your face. Well, how would you tell? Do you have eyes in the back of your head? Well, I could tell. <laughs> Just saying. Is that it? Hey, there's some lot of ducks flying around. What? Some lot of ducks flying around. Yeah. Two ducks came up the driveway, walked right up the driveway, up to the door today. Oh yeah, they were walking around the air, all up to the front, and then they came up here. So I got them on video, and I posted it on Twitter. And they looked mad when I come out with the camera, eh? And I said, uh, I said, no, we don't repair ducks. You got it all wrong. We re repair trucks. <laughs> and they turned around. They walked down there. The little arse is going. <laughs> and I said, don't go away, man. They, one looked around like he's giving me the dirty look. I could read in his mind what he wanted to, told me to do. No, he said, don't talk to him. Being a family channel, I'm not going to repeat it. Because no. I'm just too nice. Well, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> it was downright nasty. He gave you the stink eye. S stink eyes. Even as Buddy did. But that was his missus. She looked like a bit of, she looked like a duck, like a, tr a toss between a duck and a battle axe. Right? <laughs> she, yeah. Uh, well, this one's chirping. That's chirping over there. That's, that's a squirrel or something, yeah? He sounds like he got a bad bearing. Awesome. Can we wrap this up? Anyway, folks, we'll <laughs> see you in the next video. We're going to do a steering wheel next. Take care. God bless.